again. Um, this week, I decided to try something a little bit different for the Hope videos. It's called ICouldBe.org. You are mentoring teenagers in... It says from inner, high school, inner, inner city high school students to Native American reservations to residential treatment homes for teens. Uh, low income communities, statistically they're at risk of dropping out of school. And you help them transition from high school to college or work. And it's it's not literally free, but for the most part it is. You have to pass a background check and they ask you to donate donate three dollars to contribute to the um, cost of the background check. And they, their big thing is safety and anonymity. So there's no exchanging of information between you or the mentee so that they can find you or you can find them online anywhere else or offline like in real life. Um, there are three different types of mentors. There's year long where you work at with at minimum three, maximum five for throughout the school year and with one hour a week. Um, through, you communicate through email and discussion boards. There's spontaneous mentor. You answer ad hoc questions and carry on impromptu conversations with other mentees. I don't really know what an ad hoc question is. I'm going to have to Google that. <laughs> Goodbye, Katie. <laughs> Um, and then there's authority, which is oh, it's different types, I guess. But you're, it's there's just one type. There, there are just different jobs that you do. Year-long spontaneous and authority, and the authority is that if you your mentee confides that they are being sexually or physically abused or if they're having any kind of, kind of abuse, then you would report it to icouldbe.org and they will do whatever they do. Or they confess to any involvement with uh, illegal activity. Your commitment is one hour a week for a year, the school year. And since it's 24 hours a day, the internet is forever and always. You can pretty much do it whenever you need to. They match you up by what the mentee is interested in. And usually it's whatever your job is, they'll, they'll match you up with somebody who's interested in learning that. Uh, they do get, ask you personal information. It's for background checks. It takes about 20 minutes to fill out the registration. It's three dollars, and you, they do a national sex offender background check and a national criminal background check. Um, frankly, if you think you're going to fail either one of those, I wouldn't work when you're working with the kids anyway. So I don't care. Don't. <laughs> Good. I um, sort of freaked out by knowing you. Um, I'm going to give you the website, the URL, so you can go to their website. And they have video and a website tour and testimonials and FAQs. So I think I'm going to sign up for it. I'm not going to video that because it's going to take a while. That would be boring. But I, I think this would be something I would like to do. Uh, so, this week, you can dedicate an hour a week to helping a kid figure out what they want to do in life and stay on the right track and hopefully not drop out of school. 
that'd be awesome if we can get more kids to stay in school. Or at least, even if they don't stay in, in college, just to start working towards starting their careers, not just McDonald's or a, a job, their actual careers. So, I hope you're able to help somebody this week.